Hello, everybody, and welcome to Joe and Al play Comes Kerbal Space Program. Comes and go. Hello, I'm Joe. I'm Al. And uh, it has been one week since our failure to make it Look to how Ike. pretty everything is. Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, we have a new computer. So that's nice. We are also, uh, in my cheating time, Joe, I got a orbital lab into the orbit of Kerbin and earned us 452 science. We didn't have an orbital lab over Kerbin? I put a new one up with more science and then brought it back. Um, so we're going to go in here. You can't upgrade the thing. And here's what I want to do. I got all that science because I want to buy the nuclear propulsion uh, engine. Nuclear. Gonna get, we have 300 science spent. And now that's going to fix our Ike goer problem, Joe. Oh, that's going to fix Ike it? Station 1. All it needed was a, was a nuclear engine. And now we're going to have it. Oh. So what are the specs on this bad boy? The nuclear engine? Let's look. The Nerve Atomic Rocket Motor. It has 13 kilonewtons of thrust in atmosphere and 60 kilonewtons in vacuum. Compared to See. this, which has much, much more, but I'm assuming is not as uh, efficient. efficient. That's the ASL. Yeah. Right? But it's nuclear. Nuke does it use liquid fuel? All right, George Bush. Um, Nuke. It's Homer, as far as I know. But <laughs> he got, George Bush got a lot of problem for it too. Yeah, it runs yeah, on. Yeah, I think so. Uh, sounds about solely on liquid fuel. But that that's not how. A, okay. The only LV series Something engine to run solely on liquid fuel. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> That's not how atomic power works? No, real atomic power is like... I, and I'm disappointed by this. They actually wanted to build an atomic rocket and it involved dropping atomic bombs out the back of a thing with a big shield on it and then blowing them up. Sweet. This is not that. This is just magic. Well, well let's see. What, so what stage does this thing go in? Uh, this would be like late it stage. It out. Trot it out. Trot it out. Trot it out. Trot it out. Be just that oh, big, no. so Trot it's it gonna out. go on one of these type of uh, things. Uh, nice, nice. Now let's pull up our thrust to weight ratio currently with our stage down here, which is separate from this stage. That's a two, wow. That's hefty. I almost want to pull open. Hmm. So I made my science station here. This is what I got into orbit with. And this is just like a real tall rocket. It is a real tall rocket. So I think we could use something like this. And uh, make that work. So if we pulled this off. How many stages? <laughs> One. And we don't need that. Ooh. Can we land this horizontally? What do you mean? I mean, why not, right? I don't, I don't see why not. Like, build it so it can it can land like a plane. We'll put some like not struts yeah, yeah, yeah. on the outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that way it'll really... I guess they have to be here. And then we'll put the legs on that. Mm-hmm. All right, be that's what I meant, but okay. Oh, what were you hoping for? Like, tilt it on its side when it lands. So it's like a... It's not as up and downy. I don't know. The thing's tall. It's going to topple over. Is my that's why I'm widening out the land. base here. Okay. But, I mean, I... Like, land it like a caterpillar on its side. How would that... Okay. I'm, I'm thinking... I'm trying to figure out... I don't know. Look, I'm just the idea man. <laughs> then we'd run it through engineering. So, let's turn on our Wait. center of mass overlay. That's about right there. And you just want to... Don't put the engine what? on. You got to put the engine on. I thought you wanted it to. How is it going to land on its side with the? Uh, You're going to get RCS motors on now. It's just going to fall over. You're going to put RCS and you're going to you're going to spin it beautifully onto its side. I don't think I am. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to do everything I say. In my mind, I like a nice long flat. Uh, I'm going to go back with my idea, Joe. I like. I want it to be a ranch house. <laughs> I, I have always wanted it to be a ranch house. If you want it to be a ranch house, you can do that on your time. Are these going to be long Probably enough? Probably not. That is not going to be long enough. Interesting. We just keep slapping stuff on the outside. That's not... <laughs> Careful. Whoa, those are tiny. Yeah, they are. That's how it goes. Everybody knows. A Kerbal and some, and some mistletoe. 
help to la 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 i think you have to have an incredibly uncourageous kerbal on here for spooky month oh is that how we're celebrating spooky month on this i gotta work it in somehow this is just me talking but i actually would put one of those uh bubbles around this oh like a fairing yeah you gotta take yeah, the I got you. fuel off again you want this under the f yeah i made that mistake maybe bring the legs in too before you start wrapping bubbles around it too late the bubble is deployed Deploy the bubbles! Now I can give you zero advice on how to do this because it's madness, but it's fun. You get like one out and then you... Oh no, it can't go out far enough! I can get out far enough. <laughs> Boop. It's gonna, it's gonna, like, once we're in space, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it just explodes off. Larp. So here's the new hotness! Is that, you get, I name it that now. Oh god! It's lodged in the concrete! I wonder if I try to launch it like this if it'll just explode. Ike steak! Aw. I also wanted you to name it the new hotness. Nope. <laughs> Ike steak? Ike steak! Alright, Jebediah. Who is... How do we know who, who's brave? I think we have to go to the... The, uh, the... Dormitory. Oh, okay. Let's save and leave. Low courage, low stupidity. I would like him dumber, but yes, that looks like the most. We... He's an engineer, though. Oh, poop. Yeah. There's no way to en to generate more, huh? Interesting. We also lost one, right? According to this, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Killed an actual. Zero missing, two lost. Uh, then they're not. Oh, Cloffle is back. Interesting. Cloffle's in a, uh, is assigned. He's in an orbital lab. Should we just go with Jebediah? All right. He's actually not that courageous. So, yeah. So this, uh, for those monstrosity. Of, yeah, this monstrosity. Okay, he's already <laughs> in. It's a little bit not, like, it's not rigid. You can put structural on it, right? I could. I think you can put structural just, like, linking the, t the fuel tanks to the above fuel tank. Are they not there? Oh, you mean, like, no. just up and down? Yeah, I think you can add, I think you can add, like, rebar or whatever the hell it is. Well, let's try it without. But we don't have time. that at all. Let's go. Here we go, launching into the space. So far, so good. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight up with this part. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what I end up doing. <laughs> Whenever I get a build that's just completely out of my control, I'm just like the rocket's in control now. It'll know what to do. I'm not gonna touch anything. It is. This is less wobbly than the last one I built, which was Those just help. orange all the way up. The fairings help. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay. I wonder That's if they also it's... help with the, uh, um, like the aerodynamics. Yeah. I don't know how well it models, like the air flowing over this, and then turbulence coming off of here, and then hitting that down here. Again, the aerodynamics is not the best in this game, but it is there. Which game helps. do you think models aerodynamics the best? Is it like the one of those space plane simulators? I think it's no, it's gotta be pure flight simulator, right? That's what I meant. It's fl uh, like well, uh, flight space simulator there, X, <laughs> just to make it sexy. Like, yeah, I'm sure the flight simulators nowadays are getting much, much, much more advanced with that. But they don't do gravity in space too well. Kachu. Wow, we were off key on that. <laughs> so bad. I'm sorry to everyone. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't. Shh. I just want everybody to know that I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have I want to, to apologize to the academy. How bad my singing is to everyone. I like it. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the fairing. Oh, you're checking your staging. That's a good good thing to do now. At this point, yes. <laughs> How's our uh, apoapsis? Apoapsis is at 40. And we're about to run out of fuel on our first stage, but that's okay. Probably. Hopefully. We might hit enough apoapsis at this point. Mm, no. It's going to push it out a lot with this little bit left. Nope. Oh, 63. And you should be there. You don't need to... Oh, maybe not. not quite. It's always the end where I'm just like, bwomp. 
The, it's always the end where you're just like Blomp. <laughs> the Joseph Devin story. <laughs> What are you the talking? tail end of my first stage, I'm always like, <laughs> I knew that made no sense when I said it. I was like, what? What? I don't feel like thinking. It's Monday morning. I don't have to think that through. I know what I meant. <coughs> the very end of my first stage is always like 68,000, and I have a little bit of fuel left. I'm like, oh, this should work out great. And then it I was just like jumps it, out there. It's because of the nature of it. Yeah, all of a sudden it's like, oh, 140,000. Great. That's not at all what I wanted. Especially with the uh, solid, solid fuel boosters. Oh yeah, I never because you can't those control right. them at all. Yeah, and it's just it's flying out into the middle of nowhere. Boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna turn on. Nope, I don't. I just want stability assist. So we are burning as hard as we can just to get into orbit. I have no idea. I didn't even look at how much uh, delta <laughs> yeah, V we you? had. <laughs> 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 How much what we had? Delta V. <laughs> I didn't even look at it either. Listen, the rocket looks sexy. That's that's where our priorities lie. I don't need your fancy math and numbers and travel logs and stuff. Okay, well everything, just to clarify, everything is checking out here, which is nice. <laughs> Except for the landing on Ike. That's yeah, the, the main stain stability is a little bit tricky. I hate when we cross the Apio Apsis. I never feel comfortable with that. I don't well, know why. I think I had one horrific flight where that happened and I could not recover back in the early days when I understood nothing about the game. It was just lodged in my head as a bad a uh, bad thing to have happen. You've got okay. plenty now. I think you can just shoot pure, pure grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pushing. I thought I, I didn't realize. I thought that was a negative. Oh, no, that's a dash. Because sometimes it does go <laughs> negative. Yes, I know. That's when you pass the Apu Apsis, and that's what I was saying. I've got a, just like a Pavlovian hate for doing that. Don't bring Pavlov into this. You know he didn't use bells? Did he not? I read that somewhere. <laughs> my, my world crumbled, yeah. I mean, that that seems a little bit extreme, Joe. Did Adam ruins everything do an episode about yeah, it? Yeah, I was like, Pavlov, I was like, with bells. And I was like, you stupid bastard, Why? <laughs> So we want Duna to be ahead of us, right? Sure, whatever. Okay, great. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean ahead of us? So, like, we are orbiting... Ooh, we're and... actually sort of lined up. Yeah, we don't want to be right next to each other, though. No, but it's better than being on the other side of the galaxy, right? I don't know, Joe. There's uh... like a 1 o'clock and a 3 o'clock or something. Yeah. You want me to look that up again? That was... I would <laughs> love for you to look that so up So much again. help last time. Kerbin 3, Duna 130 with... Duna ahead of Kerbin. Ah! I hope that the uh, nuclear thing is better than uh, the... Whatchamacallit? <laughs> Wasn't that the whole point? I, that was the point, but I don't know if it is. Better than the Twitches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just like, again, that we wait till we got here. And we're like, you know what? I hope. <laughs> I hope that the things we built worked. <sighs> I would love it if there was an old age mechanic. I mean, I wouldn't. Like, that would be bad, but it would be funny if there was. If they actually aged. There's got to be mods for that. Well, I say that. I'm getting spoiled by RimWorld, where it's literally like, can I do this? And it's just like, yeah, they put a mod for that. RimWorld has the most extensive modding community I've ever seen in my life. That might be as close as I can get it, Joe. Again, we do get to maneuver after we do this maneuver. Maneuver? We're not doomed to just this. What are we doing here? I'm waiting for my maneuver. Until, yes, until the maneuver. Burn, baby, burn. Whoa, we're just... <laughs> that target is approximate. I don't know for sure if I, w I needed that uh, difference anyway, but... What? Sorry, the... Um, Woo! I was not sure if you needed the difference anyway. The um, like the the blueness that I put in there when it's not, it's a little bit off tilter, kilter. I never know that. I I plan my things meticulously, and I'm like, I don't have to actually be on the blue dot. Just stupid. Yeah, why would we aim at the blue dot? Let's go. Let's go way over here for some reason. I don't know. I think, we're, I think we're as good as we're going to get right now. 
Perfect. We're here. No, we're not. Is that actually us? Or is yeah, that yeah, yeah. No, I just is killed our... the. I just canceled okay. the. All right. So can we now plan a maneuver? Uh, our ferry abscess is here, so that would be where we would want to. That's where we can make the most dam do the most damage. The thing I knew that was the thing to do. I knew. I knew. See? That having that number there is very helpful. But I always go up and I click the other one. Like that dead will stay up. And I'm like, God damn it. Don't don't cancel the Okay. Don't cancel the okay. <laughs> You're hovering over the X. You do that. You hover over things. I think we're warping. focusing we're on almost going nuclear. We're waiting for this why thing you, to Why are you warping? Why are you warping? Why are you warping? Because we have a node and it's not until nine days from now. Oh, okay. Well it won't move while you're warping. I know. But I also want to get closer. Yeah, we got past it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A little bit. What the frick? Why plan these things so accurately then? Why is our Zoro the Gay Blade review doing so well? And were you, you were still. Oh. If we ever go into space, you are not driving. Why are you why are you concerned about our Zora the Gay Blades? Because it's crushing it as far as I mean things I'm in. I'm not popular at all. You're like for you that's small potatoes, but for me I'm like, woo, people like like this thing that I did. Oh yeah. And now we want to Oh yeah, you're supposed to reassure me, you jackass. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Thanks. I really felt that. That was heartfelt. Nuclear! Nuclear <laughs> Estimated burn two minutes. Whoa, that's a big burn. We're three hours past our point. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Do you think that matters? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully this is efficient enough. Hopefully. <laughs> this is it. We're just here now. This is all we've got to work with. <sighs> so. How's things? <laughs> Oh, my jackass of a navigator went three hours past the burn point. Ooh. Can we get a close-up of Jebediah? Where? C, I think. C? C. Oh, that's not quite what I was. Hmm. Maybe just take his pace from the lower right so we have some horror for our horror month. <laughs> well, they weren't wrong about the two minutes. So how are you feeling about the efficiency of this uh, engine, Joe? It's nice. We're not landing on Ike. You don't think so? We gotta slow down. Well, we're okay. A, we're just getting captured by Duna right now. Then we have to get to Ike. Right. Then we gotta circularize and drop all speed. And we still have 36 seconds left in this one. I don't know. It's gonna be tight at the very least. Look how close we are to the. In, in this view, we look real close to that maneuver, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you zoom out? All things. It's really not worth worrying about anything. <laughs> it's all. You're going to die anyway, Joe. <laughs> yep. That's why you really don't take the super long term view when you're doing things that are life or death. Now, this uh, maneuver point has seems to have moved somewhat. Yeah, why bother following that? It's good. Strict, strict. <laughs> you still have the SAS on to bring you back to. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, at this point, none of this can possibly matter. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you can't. No, wait. What? We don't have. Our approach is, like, real close, but not quite. Okay, the burn was nowhere near where it needed to be. Our approach is 87,000, though. That's it's close, yeah. But the burn was three hours past. We were wobbling all over the place as far as the target goes. It's going to affect things, believe it or not. Believe it or not. I'm walking on air. <laughs> Never thought I could feel. Believe it or not, it's just me. Okay, that's not good. What'd you do? Uh, nothing in particular. I just got to messing around with stuff that weren't wasn't helpful. <laughs> well, Albert got to messing around with things he shouldn't have been messing around with. An old boss hog sure had it out for him that day. <laughs> a Duke boy has awakened a Cthulhu-like <laughs> entity from... <laughs> <laughs> Led to a oh, whole mess Bo of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> old Bo failed to get captured by him that day. 
<laughs> his orbital periapsis wasn't nearly on point in his bird. <sighs> we made it! Wait, did we? We made it! Yay! Warp here! Wait, how much fuel do we have left? We only... Oh, we have all this oxidizer left because it only uses liquid fuel. Can we dump oh. the oxidizer? Probably. Yes, absolutely, actually. We're getting there. Oh, where is that? What? Is, where the hell is Ike? Ike is right here. I can't see anything. Oh. I think. Really? That's Duna's apioapsis. I can't I see anything. This is Ike. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's now set that it. as our target. Yes. Check the A and the N for the A and the nodes. They're the best things you can horrifying. Do is get tilty. Yes. You want to get on that tilt. Otherwise, you're basically needle in a haystacking it. Is a way. Well, again, you want to this... right click on the thing so you can see the data. I'm on it. There. No, that. Oh, Not that. Ike. Yes. And then one of these things will turn it in a certain direction. <laughs> this, is, this is your greatest masterpiece. You've done it. Congratulations. There's no way. It can't be done. <laughs> yeah, there is a way. Well, for, okay, sorry. Um, You're right. You're not right, but you're right. But the, the place to do that is actually at the little yellow tab. Where's the yellow tab at? We don't have a yellow tab for this orbit. You're not crossing its orbit yet, so it doesn't know how tilty your orbit is compared to it. Okay. So like this? Yeah. All right. There we go. We're, that gets us an orbit, and it gets us the yellow tab. Okay. I mean, granted, with you, you might just blunder into it, because that happens. Well, I like learning how to do things correctly. Okay, good. I, I don't want this to be a thing where you're like, well, I just would have done it anyway, Joe. Why did you have me do all these other things? That's a four-minute burn still. Yeesh. Yeah, like I said. Fuel? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no, I know you're right. But I also know I don't have four minutes worth of uh, burn anyway. All right. So this one was a scrap one. We learned a lot, though. That whole getting Duna and Kerbin to the right places first was that was that was big. That saved us a lot, I think. You think? Because because we didn't have to push out to the sun, then push out to. I think overall that saved us fuel. Yes. Okay. One thing I want to check is right-click on the fuel tank for the nuclear rocket. That's not the that's not the fuel tank. That's the actual. Oh, you're engine. right. Yeah. Get rid of that oxidizer. But we can't get more liquid I don't know. fuel. See if there's like a drop down to be like, I don't want oxidizer here, I want liquid fuel. What's that drop down on the right? What's the green what, arrow this? on the right? Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. I could put another tank on here. It would not be as heavy. I mean we wouldn't be taking as much mass. The the tank like if thinking of these as only functions of weight and not necessarily how tall it is. I could I put know, another liquid fuel would be the same amount of because you don't have oxidizer. I yeah. mean, we have to. We don't want no fuel. There's just that's well problem numero uno. Fuel? You know what? Uh the Kerbal way. How does that do us? I'm gonna I'm gonna have them limited a little bit though. Yeah, you kind of have to. Otherwise, it's chaos. 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 Give me a K. 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 Give me an os. Os. What do you got? Chaos. This game. Dun dun dun. Now that's we... some wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. Look at her wiggle. Wow, that's terrible. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of orbit now. Yay! All right, we got a check mark. Woo! Did we get? Uh, we are. Where are we at? We have. We are at one million on our approach. So we need to. Let's try to put a maneuver in. No, that is not going to do it. All right. You want to mess with our blue handles? Yes. Pushing that like that. 
and just go out. There's that looks like an intercept. Mm-hmm. It is an intercept. Yes. Yes. That's a five go. second burn. It's gonna be weird. Warp to next maneuver. And curb bonk. Four, three, two, one. For some reason we didn't get a check mark. I, I hope that that was close. That should have been good enough. Yeah, we have an encounter. Yay! Um, I think we have to wrap this up. Man, I'm so close. I know, but these long warps, yeah. <laughs> These long missions, these long warps, these... Cr Lazy, crazy days of summer. <laughs> it's not just the warps, though. Our entire first ship failed. Yeah, and I got other stuff I got to do. Unfortunately, I, we got to see if we get in orbit. Don't we? Don't we have to see I, that? I don't, I don't know. You're the one editing this. I mean, we're going to get in orbit. What do you mean if we get in orbit? If we get in... For circularize. Oh. We're gonna do that, aren't we? I think so. We have our whole Last tank time we of were... nuclear fuel. Yes, two tanks. Tune nuclear in next fuel. time to see if we circularize. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks all for watching. This is Kerbal, Joe and Al. If you like our products, we have plenty others, including movie reviews and makeup tutorials. And We don't have makeup tutorials. Games. To be Human fair. does. <laughs> And if you'd really like our stuff, please support us by clicking on Patreon and becoming a member. You get even more cool stuff like pins, access to the bonus podcast, maybe a t-shirt if you're at a high enough level. Ooh. It's neat. I want one of them t-shirts, oh, a Christmas Joe. letter too soon. That was fun last year. Thanks all. Bye, guys.